This is the Square 3 Plus. It's a new puzzle being mass produced by Calvin Fan, based on the original that I made myself earlier this year. It has one layer from a square one, one layer from a square two, and a central layer that is the same as the one on all regular square type puzzles. The name is derived from the fact that two different puzzles were combined to make a new one, and the number 3 comes from 1 plus 2 equals 3. Which brings me to one thing I would like to clarify. This puzzle has nothing to do with the original square 3, which looks like this. I know the names are very similar, but the intention is that there can be more of these combined puzzles, and they can be labeled in the plus series instead of messing with the normal order of the square 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So if the square 3 is mass produced, it should still just be called the square 3, because, well, that's what it is. The square 3 plus comes in four different versions, two black ones and two white ones. The main difference between the two black ones is that the white and yellow faces are swapped between the square 1 and square 2 faces. Weirdly, some of the shades are different between the two versions. You can kind of see it on the orange, green, and red faces, but it's most noticeable on the yellow and blue faces. The white puzzles have the exact same color schemes as their black counterparts. The puzzle should be more difficult to solve than the square 2, because the bandage pieces restrict the moves you can make as opposed to that puzzle. It is also certainly more difficult to solve than a square 1, because there are many positions that can be reached that would be impossible on the square one due to its bandaging. I just want to say it's really exciting to me that this puzzle is being mass produced. I know it's not the most complex or even most original idea, but it's still exciting for me that one of my original ideas is being mass produced, which is kind of a big deal, at least to me. Calvin sent me a bunch of these puzzles. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of them yet, but we'll see. This is a bit different to what I usually do. I usually design and 3D print puzzles, but sometimes Sometimes old-fashioned mods can be nice to make, you know? So without further ado, I'm gonna scramble the Square 3 Plus. Alright, so you can see here that it appears all or most of the pieces has been split up, so I think this is a good scramble, so let's solve it. Okay, let's solve the square 3 plus. Now the first thing I'm going to try and do is uh, pair up all of these corners that you can see uh, pieces like these, 
this and this that have been split up so let's see and there and all of the corners have been paired up so now I'm gonna try and solve this back into the normal cubic shape using methods that are basically very similar to the, the ones you'd use on just any square one there we have the position where all of the edges are on the same face so now it's really simple to just break them apart and get the cubic shape there we are so now what I'm actually gonna do is try and see if all these corners are paired up correctly because if we want to solve this as a square one the corners need to be paired up so that they essentially form these colors so let's check um, this corner's good this corner's good this corner's good and the last one is also good now uh, all of these corners being correct is good because it means we don't have to fix the square 2 type parities that can occur using a square 2 algorithm that I've actually written down here in case I got the parity I got the algorithm from the web page of someone called Jap I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his last name here's his full name I'll put a link uh, to his website in the description so that you can read about his square 2 method for yourself but yeah if these uh, corners were to have been uh, mismatched then I would have needed to use that algorithm to kind of put them in place anyway so now I'm just gonna solve the corners like I would on a normal square 1 and I will speed this up because my method is incredibly slow There we are, all of the corners have been solved. There. So now it's a matter of just cycling the edges as you would on a square one. And after some edge swapping algorithms, the square three plus has been solved. It wasn't that bad in this solve, but theoretically it's actually more difficult than a square two because with the square two no matter how you turn these if you have a, a move set up on one uh, layer then it'll always be valid on the other layer as well but on the square three plus if you try and use a square two algorithm sometimes these bandaged corners will actually block your algorithm which is a little bit off-putting it didn't happen to me on this solve but I have solved this three or four times and on at least two of those that actually happened to me so it is a nice little added challenge to just the square two here's kind of an interesting quirk I noticed while solving this puzzle look at these square two pieces and see how big of a gap there actually is in the center right here and then look at these the gap is much smaller so it's kind of funny because when you combine the two layers you can see that these uh, pieces are actually shorter than these so the square one pieces kind of go further into the puzzle you know, right here than the square two pieces that's just a fun little quirk I noticed but anyway this is the square three plus if you liked it check it out on Calvin's website again I'm really excited to have one of my original ideas uh, mass produced it's really cool and I can't really overstate how exciting the entire experience is for me. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching, 
and have a good evening.